fun this one I've been looking forward to doing for a long time I'm going to repaint um, a mixer so I'm I've got it ready you see I've got <coughs> plastic covering my work area I I have it on a lazy season a cake station and I've got that covered I started taping off um, some of the things that here I'm going to continue taking every single thing I don't want painted has to get taped off. Um, I'm going to take off some of the metal pieces. Um, I'll take off the plate. I'll take this off. That's no big deal. Um, nothing else actually comes off, but um, I'm going to take this off and then I'm going to sand it. And I'm going to use the lightest sanding paper I have, not necessarily the lightest one out there, but it's the lightest one I have. And I, I don't want to remove the paint, I just want to remove the gloss. That way the, paint, the spray paint will adhere to it. Um, it's a, Again, if it turns out the way it looks like in here, it's going to be pretty awesome. It's a, a cool. And this was, I, I think this was my very, very first mixer 100 years ago. Um, in the moving, uh, I, I found it in, in an old box. So uh, I plugged it in, make sure it works really well, and made some cookies with it, so it's good to go. Um, and I cleaned it up, and, I, and it was it was well used. So it was it was pretty dirty. Um, now I'm I'm sanding it, so you don't have to clean it. I'm just weird like that, so um, it's so pretty. Even just white, even just white is pretty. But oh, we're gonna dress it up. All right. So, uh, let's see. Get comfortable. This is going to be fun. take off the gloss so if you look at it I'll show you it just looks dull and scratched that's actually what I want um, now I'm gonna paint it now if you remember <clears throat> the other video I showed you how to mix uh, paint a mixer 
what, wherever the subject is. If this is what you're painting, you start here and finish there and you never want to stop and start on your object because you're going to get blotch and it's going to run. So you want to start here and finish there and just go across this way. This particular paint is a chrome. It's called chrome and it's, um, it's pretty, uh, but it's very light. If this mixer were any other color than white, I would prime it. I would spray it just white. I would take off that shine and then I would um, continue with this. Uh, this particular spray, boy, I don't know how much you'd have to use to, to spray it onto color. So um, I'm going to show you the texture, the, the finish of this mixer, and then I'm going to start spraying. And it's going to take several, several layers. It's going to be light coats each time, and then I'm going to let them dry. So this is probably going to take a day or so. Just in, well, we're in Arizona, so it's probably going to take an hour. Um, so I'm going to spray a really light. I don't know how much it's even going to show on the first one. I don't care. Um, I'm going to let it dry really well, and then I'll do it again and again and again, probably until the can's empty. We'll see. This particular pattern is so pretty. Can you see the little beads on there? Okay. Um, I'm not going to put the beads on here because if I choose to use the little uh, blings, um, I'm going to put them on top of the black. However, as I'm running my hands across, one of them came off. So, so that's telling me two things. It's telling me that they're all individual which means I don't know that I've got that time of patience and I've got some patience. Um, if it came off together in one strip, that'd be easier. But because it came off so easily uh, from here, that means it's gonna come off easily here. I need a really good adhesive grip if I'm gonna put it on anything that's around food. So I'm probably not gonna use the, the bling, which is a shame. Or maybe I'll find something else. <laughs> Okay, so you'll see that some of these bigger pieces, they're just not sticking. They're too big to mold and, and shape. This one is just old. I'm not going to worry about that one. But the pieces that are big, I, I want the size, but I need it to be flexible. So here's how what I'm going to do. So I have a piece of masking tape. I'm going to use the bigger sizes and I'm just going to um, trace it, cut it out, and then use this on my mixer. And it's going to mold and do everything I need it to do. I just need to make sure that it's going to fit. All right, so I'm going to trace this out. And then cut it out. It would help to get a, pen, a pencil that works. <laughs> it's not even really sticking well onto to here, so I'm, I don't feel so bad. All right, well, I certainly don't want to sit and watch someone tray something, so let me get out what I need, and I'll show you I'll show you how it works. And then this, this is a great tip for any time you have something stubborn. <laughs> um, this would be a great way to, to transfer and, and get what you want. Okay, so I went ahead and I uh, outlined a lot of patterns. Um, I, what I did was I put two pieces of uh, masking tape together and I put it on parchment paper. I love my parchment paper. It's going to be so much easier to get off uh, than, than the other one I made. Um, that just got a little too tricky and I'm, and I'm thinking no one's going to do this. So this one is just going to feel so much easier. So I'm just going to sit, listen to a little music and cut these out.
what is. I'm not real happy with it. So <laughs> I'm particular like that. It's really a cool looking mixer. <clears throat> but there are a couple of things on it I just I just don't care for. <clears throat> this is a great mixer for a guy. But I'm not a guy, so <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of bling on it. I started putting just just a couple of dots. This stuff I know is going to stick. It's the same stuff I used in the last mixer I decorated up. And so I'm just gonna go around and just put a dot here and there. Okay, my friends, that's it. That's the, uh, that's how to repaint a mixer. You can do so many, so many things with it. I would need a dozen mixers to even start to touch the, uh, different things I, I would want to do with it. But, uh, the steps are easy. I, I can be my own worst enemy. I made it harder than it should have been. It's, it's not. It's just me. Um, but it's so pretty. So pretty. I'm very pleased with it. So I hope you give it a try. And until next time, happy baking. Ah, oh, that was fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe.